are obsessed with the Connie Fife Show. It's about a lifestyle shift to move up or out. Hey, what's your jam? What's the one thing that really drives you? What makes you unstoppable? It's about opening a new door to live your dream. People give up way too early on their dreams. It's about enjoying the journey. It's about keeping it real. Damn, now the interviewee is interviewing the interviewer. I like this. It's all about you. I knew there was something else I wanted to do. Stop taking shit so seriously. Y'all can't do this. Take an outrageous look at life and laugh. This is the Connie Fife Show. We love you, boys. We love your jam. You need to be on radio. And now your host, Connie Fife. Hey everyone, it's Connie Fife, your Unstoppable Diva, and I am here this week with another episode of the Connie Fife Show. I, I I don't know, I just get more and more excited every week because we just continue to have some exceptional, some phenomenal guests that comes comes to the show. So now you got to remember to keep on sharing because we have some amazing, some incredible gifts that we're, we continue giving away, that we continue sharing with you. And what's so unique and what's the best of all is that we got them to autograph it. So what I mean by them is, is our our incredible talent. And that's who we have today. We have Dr. Bill Vincent and Dr. Bill. He's a professional speaker, professional motivator, motivational speaker. He, he is ready and, re- and willing to speak around the globe. He's an educator. He's an entertainer. If you need a little entertaining on the side, just call the bromatics because that's who he is. And also, he's a family man, and he's a coach, a coach to executives, to parents, and really to today's youth, helping them to understand how they can achieve, really making those those better choices in life to be better. And that is his tagline, hashtag to be better, and it's T-W-O-B-E, better. So remember that because we have a giveaway for you. He has a giveaway. Dr. Bill, what is your giveaway going to be today? Ah, I, I, I have a giveaway that is, uh, well, actually, it's near and dear to my heart and very much like a lot of what Connie just mentioned. And what I have is a autograph football helmet. Ooh. Autograph football yeah. helmet for my alma mater. Yeah. Uh, where I was a standout football player there. But it's near and dear to my heart because uh, speaking is near and dear to uh, my new life at this point in time. Cool. Uh, it's something what I do. I, I also not only played, but I also coached. Mm-hmm. And so this little memorabilia will give you some uh, remembrances of what a coach does. And coaching in football, coaching in life uh, is something uh, near and dear to me. And I hope to you. And I hope this will be a reminder. Well, okay. you autograph that. And I know that oh, I mean, people are going to be like standing in line. So well, let me put it to you all this way. It the first whoever whoever hashtags whoever shares this show hashtags Dr. Bill hashtags to be better. Remember it's T W O B E better. Um, we're going to have to pull your name out of a hat. No pun intended, but we're going to have to pull your name out of a hat, and you will get an autographed copy of the this University of Oregon helmet from Dr. Bill. So thanks, Dr. Bill, for that. Very good. Very yeah, good. and we'll remind uh, our listeners a little bit more in the show. But make sure that you are sharing, share, share, and share our shows. Our loyal listeners come back over and over and over again. And the reason the reason that you're here is because you want to learn how to turn that success, your success, your fame into a thriving business. And I mean, that's that's what Dr. Bill is doing and that's what y'all can be doing as well. And we are a streaming radio for lifestyle entrepreneurs and keep coming back every single week, every single time because, hey, you don't want to miss any of the good stuff because we do... We do work 
with folks who are the world's most caring minds who are keeping the passion of life activated. So make sure that you're sharing. So if you haven't already guessed it already, our our guest today is Dr. Bill Vincent. And again, he's a he's a prolific speaker, an educator, an entertainer. Oh my gosh, every time I talk to this man, I am just blown away by by what he does, the instruments that he plays, the achievements that he has had in his lifetime. And let's not forget, uh, Bill, be, being a family man, he he's just, it's, it's incredible uh, the work that he has done even just for his own family, but he's here to do that for you. So Dr. Bill Vincent, welcome to the Connie Five Show. Oh, well, thank you very much, Connie, and extraordinary. Thank you so much for those Amazingly kind words. <laughs> so I want I want to talk about I want to talk about the things really that you're bringing and you're delivering in your in your keynotes because I want our our listeners to hear how you were able to move from one NFL player co- a college player NFL player to becoming an educator and and how you have been able to do that and now that you are sharing that message. Um, around the globe so people could understand that they can be better, that they, and, and it's all about that change, making the choices of, um, not really change, but the choices in their life that helps them to do better. And you talk about the, uh, uh, being your authentic self, which leads to be better. Um, I, I would just love you to share more of that message with our listeners. Yeah. You know, uh, uh I, I believe that, uh, you know, being your authentic self is a continual life's journey. I mean, things change rapidly, trends change, but I think a continual understanding of who you are in relationship to those changes. Now, yes, indeed, I believe that people do change, mm-hmm. but uh, particularly, but not necessarily at the rate to which the times change. We get stuck in our ruts. We get we we say things that we just believe and believe to the nth degree of uh, and and don't really make the exceptions when it comes to perhaps doing something new that may augment or may spark you to do something different than you've ever done before and perhaps you can find out exactly that you are pretty good at it and so i think this is the way in which i'm approaching uh individuals to do that people always ask me how do you be a doctor and then a coach and then a this and then a that Mm. I said it, it, it's due in part to uh, continuously reevaluating myself, going out on limbs to test myself mm. in, ter- in, in, in a variety of different environments. Right. Uh, and so I think that's really what uh, my uh, what my talk is all about. And uh, it basically is overcoming a variety of fears that people put upon themselves. And I think that's really the biggest and most fundamental uh, thing that uh, I'm hoping to really instill in people. And that is to overcome your fears by authenticating who Mm. you are, because that's an ever changing element. Mm. I want to talk about corporate for a minute and and executives. And I'm an executive. I, I come out of corporate, as you know, and. Even other, so when I was in corporate, when I was an, an, an executive, it was, oh, I couldn't let my fear show. I couldn't let anybody see that, you know, I still had some of, you know, this feeling of, um, y- you know, that I was there under false pretenses, um, so to speak. And when I talk to executives now, they, they have that. They have that same feeling like, you know, I've made it. I've worked hard. I made it to... You know, I'm in the top floor. I'm in the big chair, but there, there's still something with within them that's still holding them back. And I know that your five principles of finding your way is something that could help them. And we don't have that long of a show, but if you could share two of those principles that could really help executives really embrace who they are, and so they can continue and keep pushing through that even to the next step and the next phase in their life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I think, and, and, and having been an executive myself in my mm-hmm. former life, mm-hmm. uh, I, I can only relate to that uh, not wanting to necessarily show uh, your weaknesses. Mm-hmm. But what I have learned 
is that uh, showing your weaknesses is exactly a strength. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of ways that uh, it humanizes you. I think it helps you to connect with individuals. It helps okay. to connect with their soul. Uh, the fact that you may be sitting in the big chair, sure, there's a great deal of accomplishments that you've done to, to do that. Right. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I think that helps people understand themselves to be real. So I do, I do have five main principles, you know, that I, uh, that I really believe helps you to not only find your way, but find your way to great success. Mm -hmm. And one of those is to be yourself. I think okay. in this world of, oh, what's a better way of saying it? Uh, making it, if you will. Okay. Uh, I think there's a lot of a, a lot of that going on, and I think when you do that to uh, to any magnitude, you begin to not understand and know who you are. Therefore, you can never be your best self. And I think people okay. respect exactly who you are once they mm -hmm. once they understand there's some kind of connection. It's kind of like giving a lecture in biology. People get it. When you make reference to something that they already know or feel good about themselves or something that they can connect to. Okay. As an executive, if they never feel that they can connect with you on whatever level, then you're not going to be the best for the greater good. Okay. That's really super important. So I think there is a certain amount of, 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 of being yourself to the point to where I can accept the fact that I don't know anyone, but what I'm getting out of that is the connection with the people with whom I'm working with, or in the, in the, in the case or in the illustration that I've been giving you, mm -hmm. uh, the people that you're leading. So I think that's really important. And, okay. and because that will help continue you to explore and to make change and to be stimulated by things you ordinarily would not be stimulated by because mm -hmm. you're locked in your cocoon, if you will. Right, right. I, I mean, and I mean, truthfully, I mean, people don't want to see that, that you're locking your cocoon all the time. Like, yeah. you know, come on out, come, you know, step up, step out here and, you right. know, see exactly what, what we're doing before you make these, you know, these big grandiose changes. How is it affecting, affecting us? And I, I truly believe, you know, really stepping in and, and and helping your people. And I actually had my hand slapped for that years ago. Um, when I had stepped in to help my team, we were in, we were in a crunch. It was two o'clock in the morning. Uh, we were in DC. I actually, you know, had pizza and stuff brought in earlier the night before, because I knew it was going to be an all nighter. And, you know, and I, I just jumped in to help and I actually got my hand slapped and said, Oh no, leaders don't do that. But um, I still beg to differ. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, I still, because, you know, my, my team, you know, when I wanted something and needed something, they were right there for me because they know that I also had their back. Exactly. So, so yeah, so that's something I do stand by. And I love, you know, because you and I really relate to that. And then again, what it takes to be, to be better. But you also talk about visualization, visualize, prioritize, exercise, and, and realize. And I know that you have a poem that is, near and dear to you you had shared a story with me from the age of 16 how that moved you to really um, set that path set that journey in your life to where you are you've gone and where you're still going and you've been able to really connect those pieces together so i know i i know you don't want to give give away everything here but i, I but i really i i want our listeners to hear how something as we could say as simple as a poem really moved your life and how it has changed the journey in your life. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will give you the Reader's Digest version. And okay. It's for me to do that because I, I, I will say to this day, it was really one of the more profound things that ever happened to me. And just a short story. I'm 16 years old. I'm at a football banquet and uh, I'm expected to receive these accolades for having a great season, you know, and I was the very typical shy 16 year old, you know, kid with all the insecurities that come complete with a 16 year older. Mm -hmm. And um, I was a, a little shy and embarrassed to get up and have to receive this thing. Well, prior to that, however, there was a speaker 
that the uh, uh, that, that was speaking at the banquet, and he wrote he, he he read a poem that was entitled "The Man in the Glass," and uh, I have lived by this poem. Every single one of my offices have had this posted in it, and it really is a poem about uh, self integrity, basically. And uh, it, the, the first line of the poem is the thing when I was sitting there at 16 years old, hit me square between the eyes when the first line of the poem says, when you get what you want in your struggle for self and the world makes you king for a day, just take a minute and take a look at yourself and see what that guy has to say. Well, that got my attention because as I was struggling with being a 16 year older and I was it was the first time that I really took some time to reevaluate myself. I mean, everyone else was giving me all these accolades and things of that nature, and that was great, but I wasn't feeling it myself. And when I be that that was the beginning of myself really feeling that, oh my gosh, hey, I'm not the only one who perhaps is uh, uh, is feeling this. I mean, for mm -hmm. goodness sake, there's a poem about it, right? And uh, secondly. It just gave me some real inner thought that uh, I need to make sure that I'm consistently looking at myself and accepting who I am at that point in time. And of course, as you know, at 16 years old, where am I going to go to school? What am I going to be? Right. What am I going to do? When I, all, all those things were running across my mind just furiously, right. and, they, and, they, and they typically did every day. But this is what I know in my mind that made the right. difference in myself. And this is the same. Uh, poem, and I can speak more about this, and this is also in my in many of my talks, where I talk about um, how impactful this was on that consistent and making that change and evaluating yourself to discover your authentic self, not right. to cheat yourself, not to tell yourself you're something you're not, not to believe everything someone's telling you uh, about yourself, good, bad, or indifferent, and reevaluating just where you are so you'll know where to do and how to put the work right. in where the work's necessary. And then you will certainly be more adept to following that passion that's deep inside mm -hmm. you that oftentimes does not ever have an opportunity to get out. Right. I mean, it's such a profound moment, um, you know, that, that we all need to find something. I, I shouldn't say even find, but there's always something that really changes the path in our life and that was really deep for you let's take a really quick break um we're gonna need to recognize our sponsors and we'll be right back the connie five show is heard everywhere you can find the connie five show on most of your favorite networks it's time to now recognize and thank our major networks for all of their support in the house we have conscious business radio c-suite radio transformation radio iHeartRadio. We are also heard on Google Play, Apple, Radio, Stitcher, and so many more that I just can't keep up with them all. I'm Connie Pipe, your unstoppable diva. We'll learn more about our gym and how we can work together at my fancy swanky website, ConnieFifeShow.com. I'll see you over there. Until then, like, 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 share, share, share. Now back to the show. And we're back, and you're listening to The Connie Fife Show. Our unstoppable guest today is Dr. Bill Vincent. He believes that times do change, but people don't. Okay, and for that reason, you really want to continue to understand yourself. You need to continue understanding yourself. And Dr. Bill helps people to keep achieving in today's ever, 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 ever. How many evers? Changing world. <laughs> out there so okay oh my god it is time for straight talk so dr bill my first question we have up for you is well i should say complete this sentence i am unstoppable because i am unstoppable because of my thought processes that has led me to this point you know okay i've, I've been very successful in my life which has become a behavior. That behavior begets the behavior I have now. People will always ask, continue to ask me the question, well, what are you doing in retirement? <laughs> I say retirement in the sense of I stopped doing one job and now I'm doing a derivative of another. 
Yeah, I think the definition of retirement has changed. <laughs> it completely has. Yes. And so what makes me unstoppable mm-hmm. is my continual zest to assist in health. You know, I am the consummate mm. uh, giver. Uh, mm-hmm. And I think that's what, what, when you're instilled to do that, uh, mm-hmm. uh, that's what makes my boat float. Uh, it wasn't happy when I had to give students failing marks. Right. I took it upon myself that that was my job. That mm-hmm. I did something mm-hmm. for them. So I think it's something where seeing people achieve, not just accomplish, because accomplishing mm-hmm. something and achieving are two different things. Right. Right. Achieving is certainly those where you are, are, are actually going over and beyond mm-hmm. uh, a, a task. And that's really why I'm unstoppable, because my thirst to instill that in parents, to mm-hmm. instill that in young people who have a myriad of thoughts and desires and things of that nature, but they're all scrambled. And what makes me unstoppable? Because there's always someone looking for something they perhaps haven't heard or motivated to do something they never thought that they could do. Wow, wow. So never have I ever. Finish, complete the sentence. Never have I ever. Ah, Well, never have I ever. Never have I ever gone skydiving. Okay, is that on your bucket list? Uh, I I was going to add the word yet. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I've never done that yet. Bucket list, it's it, it's on the bucket list. Now, I don't know the order. There's a few other things I'll probably want to do before that. Okay. But because I really believe that there's nothing that I cannot do, that mm-hmm. uh, I'm sure I'll get around to it. No, I mean, with the career that you've had, and again, you put your mind to it, things things get done. Yeah, I could see, yeah, skydiving, I'll continue moving down the list. Let's make sure we complete everything else before I... <laughs> Take take the dive. <laughs> right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. So, and and I mean, and I always ask this question too, but I I, I think we already got that answer. What's the moment in your life that has had the most profound effect on you? Yeah, and again, I I, I go back to that moment when I was sixteen. You know, in fact, I uh, I remember that that being such a profound moment mm-hmm. it helped me to identify. Uh, and, and be more accepting of myself. Okay. Uh, and especially at the age of 16, that's... Exactly. Uh, and, you know, and, and I actually even wrote, I, I, have, a, I have a book. It's a, it's a, uh, a book of all my uh, accolades and pictures and newspaper clippings and all those kinds of things. And I remember mm-hmm. putting in the back of the book, and I have it even to this day. I wrote at that time when I was 16 that I dedicated this book to my son, Blank, and my daughter blank. And I only say that to say, I think it helped for me to begin to visualize where I wanted to go. Right, right. I mean, this football thing was great. These accolades are great. But now I'm able, I I, I think that that moment helped me to uh, synthesize how I was thinking about myself. Right. Where I wanted to go. And that's, that that was the profundity of that, uh, of that poem. I mean, you, you you were creating a vision board before they became the thing to do. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you, had, you had your own vision board there. That that book that you have, you could put that together. And um, I'm sure a lot of people would love to have a copy of that. Oh, yeah. I, oh, I'd I, I love to share it, you know, because, you know, it's almost like, show me the target. Right. Show me the target. I'll hit the target. Right. I think yeah. I, I, I think I think you have your next book there, Bill. <laughs> hey, come on. If people buy Kim Kardashian like naked pictures, why wouldn't they want a picture of that? Yeah, a nice picture of a target. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's funny because uh, in, in, in a world where there's so much information yeah, and it's at our hands and we can get it, we can ask Google, we can ask Alexa, we can do anything that we want. The fact of the matter is that can be daunting and confusing. It can. Yes. And And I just read, I just read an article yesterday. Um, You know, my husband had surgery yesterday. So, you know, when you're in sitting in a medical doctor's office for hours. So I did a lot of reading yesterday, but I did this one article read um, by 2020. 
2020, which was pretty scary because, I mean, it's only a year away, that 90% of everything that we do, we're going to be talking to a machine. Yeah. Like, if you don't have Alexa now, like, uh, like I don't, mm-hmm. um, I'm behind the times because I don't, I don't have Alexa or I'm not talking to my watch like 007. Right. Somebody. Well, you know, and, and, that, and that was going to follow by saying one of the most important things that I'm very, very, very happy to do mm-hmm. uh, speaking to people and parents and so forth mm-hmm. is, is I believe amid all of the information, and I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying that there will be nothing that will ever take over the human spirit and how it's delivered and how you speak yeah. to souls, how you speak to soul because right. that will get people to move. Yeah. Right. Or then That's, more, yeah. more books, more, you know, Googling or what right. have you. It really hits people in the soul when, they, when there's a human spirit that's transferred. Exactly. Exactly. And it's like, you know, you talking to me, you talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you talking to me? Talking um, to me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, what do you what do you believe is the world's greatest wound? Oh wow! Well, you know, I I think the world's increasing inability to connect that human spirit. Mm. We yeah. text, we do all the things, and we call it communication, right? Uh, but I I think that's a that's an increasing. Uh, open wound if we're not smart enough to, uh, in quotation, stop the bleeding. Yeah. And I think all of that has its place. I think right. all of it. But I, I see it in families. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I see that being part of the breakdown of families uh, because the human spirit isn't, I mean, uh, I can tell you to go to the store, but there's probably a lot more than I mean, by texting you to go to the store. But there's a lot of things that may go with if I tell you, you'll probably get more out of, of that mm, task in terms right. of what to do, what to look for, those kind of things. There's more lessons in that than just the actual act thereof. Well, yeah. that, that's that's I mean, it happens in corporations, too. Yes. Absolutely. If everybody's talking to a machine, relying on the machine to relay that message to you, and you know, and things start breaking down until yeah, we find it in. Then, the, then it becomes more about the the apparatus or the mm-hmm. technology, and we find those being in excuses as to why something didn't right. happen. You know, whoa, 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 wait a second. Right, right. It's still you know, your, your authentic self. Own yeah. what you're doing. And, and so I, I just think that that uh, if we don't get some handles on mm-hmm. that, or perhaps if we don't speak to people regularly yeah, mm-hmm. and motivate them to the point to where they are finding themselves and they right. see themselves and they're able to express themselves mm-hmm. uh, verbally. Right. right. I think just, that's our best chance. Yeah. Even if it's just to have five minute a day conversation, you know, team huddle, whatever. Yeah. You know, it's still again. You said that 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 interaction. So, so what what's next? Uh, you know, I mean, Dr. Bill Vincent, educator, speaker, um, professional football player, coach. I mean, where do you go from here? Well, for me, I I, I like to keep things very very simple. Mm-hmm. I will continue to lead my family. Okay, which is number one on my list, and yeah. leading my family in a variety of ways. Uh, while my children are still are 34 and 32, uh, I'm leading them in ways that, um, uh, I, I mean, in other words, I'm, I'm not uh, pulling the diaper off of them anymore, <laughs> but I'm doing other things that are helping them to continue their, uh, to, 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 to be their very best. Well, I know. I mean, you're, do- you're they're both doctors, and I know you just helped your, your daughter with her practice, and she's doing... Um, a network television show as well. Yes, yes. She's going to mm-hmm. be appearing on uh, the show called uh, uh, My Fear Killing Me. My daughter's a podiatrist. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, it's going to be airing uh, beginning August 29th. So we're mm-hmm. really excited about that. Yeah. Uh, but it, 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 it's a wonderful thing because it's really an educational way of people understanding what podiatrists do and right. what they do do. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. But I think in, in leading them, particularly mm-hmm. in the business world, understanding how all of that works uh, and really for the betterment of other people. 
Right. That's really what it's about. It's, and, and to me, I mean, it's it, it, it's about service. Right. I cannot serve anyone unless I'm servicing myself and evaluating mm-hmm. myself and finding my authentic self so I can indeed be help, be, be helpful. Right. And, and, and that's like, part of being a lifetime learner, too. And that's and, what indeed it is. Right. Yeah. So where can where can our listeners find you so they can stay in touch? Oh, they can find me at uh, drbillvincent.com. That's my website. Mm-hmm. And uh, I am on Instagram at uh, the uh, Dr. Renaissance Man. I do quite a number of things to get messages across, whether or not, whether it be singing, entertaining, uh, coaching, uh, what have you, a variety of different ways in which we can transfer that human spirit so that you can be better. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you for being here. Um, and also to, to our listeners, uh, you can find out more about Dr. Bill Vincent also at talentconcierge.co. As I mentioned earlier, he is a professional speaker, travels around the globe, and he is available for speaking engagement in corporate and associations in education. And of course, also in academia and collegiate, collegiate sports teams as well, talking about how you two can to be better <laughs> but twos and b's got started got, got, yeah. but it's to be better twl so you want to make sure that you're hashtagging and of course share this show so you can be in a running for an autograph copy of the university of oregon uh, football helmet that dr bill had pointed out and shared with us earlier so again dr bill vincent thank you for being here i look forward to you joining us in our showcase come september right here in los angeles that's going to be, uh, yeah, that's going to be fun and exciting. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, can't wait for that. And to everyone, the, our showcase is September 10th and 11th. So um, we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff on social about that. You don't want to miss it. But you don't have to come right in L.A. to see us because we will be streaming it live. All you're going to need to do is register, and you're going to hear Dr. Bill Vincent talking um, about and fully fully giving his message on how you too can be better. So that's all we have for today. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. You are my family. You are um, our members that continue coming back every single week. And remember to share, 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 and share and receive one of our many giveaways. I'm Connie Five. I am a recovering executive and I am here today moving ideas forward to keeping the passion of life activated. And if you haven't done so yet, check out talentconcierge.co where we represent the most daring minds. And if you are one of those, if you've reached your fame and you're looking for that help, that support to build your business and be that thought leader that's out there sharing your message, just um, schedule a call with me. It's all free. Love to chat with you to see if we're a fit. And and because we are all unstoppable together, and I'm going to leave you with this very, very simple quote for today's, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it will achieve. And that comes from Napoleon Hill. You're listening to The Connie Five Show. And if you like what you're hearing, share us, share us, share us, and let your friends know about us as well. Until next time, keep rocking and keep that passion of life activated. Hey y'all, it's Connie Fife. Thank you for listening to the Connie Fife Show. Check back often. You don't want to miss any of the good stuff. If you like what you hear and would like to be a guest on the show, head over to the ConnieFifeShow.com to apply. While you're there, check out our amazing advertising opportunities that will put you right in front of your perfect client. I will see you over there. Do yourself a favor this week, activate your power, and be unstoppable together.